Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to properly troubleshoot your iOS application that was developed with Apache Cordova, PhoneGap, or Ionic Framework. Uh, but in, in particular, we're going to go over how to troubleshoot an Ionic Framework uh, mobile application uh, in our, particularly our Safari web browser. Uh, so previously I, I did a tutorial on how to do the same uh, using Android and uh, the Android uh, debug bridge, ADB. Um, but this time we're going to focus strictly on iOS because it's a completely different animal. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a fresh project. We're going to introduce some bugs into this project and we're going to go ahead and see how to analyze our logs. So uh, from your terminal, Go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and create it on my desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. Ionic start, uh, let's call it Safari project blank. So as you can tell, uh, we're going to be using Safari to do all of our troubleshooting. Perfect. Now using your terminal, go ahead and navigate into that new project, so CD Safari. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open it up in our uh, editor here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the directory, and then I'm going to click www. And I'm going to open up with uh, Adam, my editor of choice. All right. So we're going to just do a few simple things here. So we're going to go into our app.js file, and we're going to create a new controller. So let's go ahead and say controller, and let's call it main controller. And we're just going to provide a scope. So inside of this controller, we're going to have one function. It's going to be a scope function, and we're going to say show log. And inside of here, we're going to say, let's say, for example, console.log. Uh, this is an example. Perfect. Uh, so now what we, what we need to do is we need a way to be able to uh, execute this, uh, this code right here. So navigate back into your index.html file at the root of your project. And we're going to go ahead and first include that controller. We're going to attach it to the ion content tag. So ng controller equals, uh, what do we call it, main controller. Let's go ahead and add a button. So we're going to say button class equals button. Uh, let's say ng click equals, uh, what do we call it, show log. Uh, let's give it some text. And we're going to save it this time. So at this point, we should be, we should be good to start testing. So let's go ahead and go to um, our terminal here. And we're going to build this project. Oh, and it looks like I didn't agree to the licenses for uh, Xcode after I um, upgraded it. So let's go ahead and open it and agree. Alright, so it looks like Xcode is now set up. Let me go ahead and close it. Let's try that build command one more time. Hopefully it works out. Looks a lot better this time. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and run uh, Ionic Emulate iOS. Should pop up with my simulator right here. As well as my app as soon as it does its first run. Remember I, I just uploaded, updated my Xcode so everything's uh, first run now. Perfect. So my Ionic app is now booting up, which is good. And I have that button. So what's important here is now we want to be able to see those logs. So inside of Safari, if you haven't done so already, what you want to do is you want to have this develop menu item. And that develop menu item, you can go to uh, preferences, and then advanced, and then you can click uh, this show develop menu and menu uh, show develop menu and menu bar. So with that checked, uh, this this menu item will appear. And what we want to do is we want to uh, go.
go to simulator here and we want to click on index.html. Uh, from that point, let's go ahead and go to our console and let's see what happens when we click on that button. So as you can see, our log is now inside of Safari. So it made it very convenient uh, to show this, show this message. But uh, what happens uh, for messages that are out of our control? Something that we don't initiate, maybe through, maybe there's some kind of syntax error, maybe, maybe a plugin is not working correctly. How, how do we see those logs? So let's go ahead and make some revisions uh, to our code here. So what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and scrap this function. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to say uh, root scope dot test equals blah, blah, blah. All right. So here's the thing here. So I am not including root scope uh, as an injection to my controller. So right off the bat, this should fail because uh, root scope hasn't been inject, eject, uh, injected. Sorry. Uh, so now, at this point, we don't need our button. We can go ahead and remove it, and I'm going to save it. So let's go back into our terminal. I'm going to go ahead and first build my application. All right, now I'm going to say uh, Ionic Emulate iOS. So it's going to reload it in my simulator. wherever it might be. All right, uh, so it's not showing anything, but that's that's fine so far. So what we want to go do is we want to go back into our logs. Now something you should note, uh, so we can't start inspecting until our application has already started, which is why you don't see a log here. So if you go ahead and do a, a refresh of our inspector, um, now it, it went ahead and refreshed our application as well at which point now we can see the problem. It says cannot find variable root scope. And it even tells us what line uh, this error is on. And this is incredibly useful when it comes to uh, troubleshooting your iOS applications because without this, it'd be near impossible to figure out uh, the most minor of problems. So what happens if you go to Safari and you don't see uh, your simulator uh, where, where it should be. Uh, that, that could happen. So what happens is you need to go to your simulator or your device, it, because you can use a device for testing as well. It's up to you. Uh, you want to go home on the device. You want to find the settings. You want to go to Safari. Scroll down to the bottom here. Click Advanced. And then you want to make sure that the web inspector uh, is enabled. Uh, if it's disabled, uh, that could lead to some trouble. And that applies to both the simulator as well as the device. But as long as that's up and going, uh, you should have it inside of your, your develop menu. Uh, and then you can view the logs, just as easy as, show, as I showed you. Um, and logs are incredibly helpful uh, if you are posting questions in the forums uh, or even my own personal blog because without the logs, nobody can really help you. Uh, so it's definitely a good idea to find your logs first.